the dilemma I have now is I've got the new camp, uh, the new truck, and I put the camper in there. Well, it's 150, and the other had a 350, so the bed size is a little different. I can't use that gray water tank I bought set up. Uh, it just will not fit between the wheel wells or the side of the, the bed and the, the camper. So, so what I'm thinking of doing is making a tank uh, myself because you can't find anything that's only four inches wide and seven feet long. It's just not possible. So I'm going to use PVC, four inch PVC. It holds, uh, I guess, about a half gallon of water per foot. So if I get almost 14 feet in there, uh, they give me about eight, uh, eight gallons, which so don't pick on me for my crappy drawings, you know. That's what used sheetrock is for. But anyway, uh, here's here's my end. It'll flow down. I'll have a vent in it somewhere and then come back. So on the side wall of the truck, once it's installed, it'll look kind of like that. The question I have is, this is the back of the truck. So if I put my vent here, this is the best place to put the vent. If I put the vent on this end, I could probably see it. Uh, of course, the sink is going to run slow if it fills up anyway. Uh, but if I put the vent down here, uh, I wonder if it'd flow better. That's really what I want, is I want the sink to flow into here quickly. So where do you think I should put the vent? That is a good question. Um, well, normally for like a P-trap or something, you have free-flowing water on the other side of that P-trap, right? So you would want, I mean, plumbing code, right, if you're doing it in a house, is you want to have a vent within three feet of the entrance of the water. Um, however, However, since your system is closed on the other end, you're gonna have back pressure. So you almost need like a like two vent system. Um, one vent running up and connecting into the other vent. But the question would then be, how do you keep water from coming back up through it? The more I think about it, the more I think you'd want the vent in the highest portion of the system. So even if air were to get trapped in the lower portion of the system, moving the vehicle or you know shaking it or depending on how your pipes are sloped would still cause air assuming that you are going to put a slope on these would, would still cause air to travel up through back through the exit at the highest point of the plumbing so hmm, that's probably what i would do i would put it right next to the inlet fuck it, maybe even underneath the sink put in a regular check valve like you have for your dishwasher um well you don't have one in california but they sell them at lowe's they're just like i don't know 10 15 bucks I think if I was doing this on my vehicle, I would utilize the space underneath the bed in between the frame rails instead of inside the bed. Because that space inside the bed, you could use PVC pipe uh, with a cap and use it as storage instead of giving up that space that's you know really usable, but the space underneath the bed isn't really. So there should be, you know, between the axle and the back of the cab, in between the frame rails, you should have a good four by four area at least of just open space between the, like I said, between the frame rails and underneath the bed. And I mean, you could still do all that you wanna do between them. All very good ideas. And uh, I did look online and some other people are doing something under, but the problem with that is then it's like a motor home where your drainage is way below, you're on your knees, digging in the dirt, and you basically turned your truck into a, an RV. Uh, and I don't, you know, I don't need that much water. I've only got five gallons of fresh, Cats are always in my workspace and sticking their nose in my coffee. But yeah, uh, getting back to this, I think I am going to vent it on the top because this will be angled so that it'll drain down so I can drain out down here. Uh, so angled up, I'll put it at the high point here. That makes sense. Yeah, see, when I had the F-350, I could actually reach in here and lift things out. I had plenty of height for uh, and width for things like you know long poles it, it, there's no room here it's all you can't get much in here i might be able to get like the little folded steps in there and that's about it the rest is all just kind of well here it is i'm figuring it's going to hold about eight gallons of water by the time i'm done and i did go with a vent tube out the top at the very end so yeah it fits in the truck pretty good don't mind my sloppiness. I was out here late at night having a beer and watching a movie about women having sex with fish. So, set up an overnight water test on the tank. Uh, no leaks. No leaks. I can do a pressure test. I can blow on this end. That seems to work. So, uh, too bad there's never a cat around sticking his nose in there when you want one. 
Okay, one final tank video. I've actually got the uh, the camper raised up six inches out of the bed, so you won't even see half of this when it's down. But uh, all installed, uh, came out nice, fits in there good. It holds uh, seven and a half gallons of water, which uh, balances against my fresh real nice. Yeah, I've got five gallon fresh water tank, so having seven and a half gallons of waste is perfect for like doing the dishes. You got this little access part here. And this goes right up into the sink. It's not a complicated system. And when I drain out, it'll be down here. And that's how it went. I still have my 